Hi everyone, Sheila here. A happy holiday Labor Day weekend. I hope this video finds you well and I wanted to pop in and give you an update on Greater Good Music, tell you about what we're up to on concert tours across the country, and also give you an update on the flood situation in Tennessee. In case you haven't heard, Greater Good Music is an organization that I started during the pandemic to unite music artists, their fans, and nonprofits on concert tours across the country. Basically, we turn concert day into a day of giving, and it has really taken off this summer. I am so humbled and thankful and just blown away by all of the music artists and the fan support that we're seeing, and thank you for helping us do so much good in the world. You can find us online at greatergoodmusic.org. Also follow us on Facebook at Greater Good Music and on Instagram at Greater Good Music Charity. Okay, I wanna tell you about the catastrophic flood that happened in Middle Tennessee two weeks ago. The counties just west of Nashville received 17 inches of rain in about a day. Um, this was like a tsunami of water in those towns. It far exceeds the amount of rain that Nashville had in their historic flood back in 2010. We know that there were about 500 homes that were completely destroyed and up to 700 that were damaged. We've also had a count given to us of about 2,100 children who had homes lost or damaged in that flood. So there are a lot of families with children needing help and we are working on it. I wanna give thanks to several music artists that are partnering with us to send relief to that flood impacted area. Um, I wanna thank Miranda Lambert and Shopkeeper Management, also Brandy Carlisle and her Looking Out Foundation, Styx and their Rock to the Rescue Foundation, the Dillman Family Fund, CTK Management, Red Light Management, also a lot of individual donors that have given, Karen, Judy, Ashley, Peter, Marion, John, Julie, and a ton of anonymous people too that have made donations to help us partner with people like One Gen Away and the Diaper Bank in Nashville to load up truckloads of food and diapers and provide whatever those people need um, in those counties just west of Nashville. This is gonna be a long process. The volunteer work that has happened out that way so far has been a lot of heavy demolition, but we will be doing mobile food pantries with One Gen Away, and there'll be a lot of opportunities coming up to volunteer to give food and diapers and water away. And this is gonna go on through the fall holidays and Christmas and into 2022. It's gonna be a long recovery process there. Um, I also wanna tell you about the work that we're doing on concert tours across the country. This has been so exciting. So far we have partnered with and worked with Luke Combs, Ashley McBride, and the Thomas Rhett Tour, his Centerpoint Road Tour recently in the Philadelphia area. I was actually personally able to go to Philadelphia last weekend and work on the Thomas Rhett Tour. He donated 600 meals to an organization called MANA. They are a nonprofit in downtown Philadelphia who makes medically tailored meals for people who are fighting life-threatening illnesses. This is so important right now in this pandemic. It's, these are frontline jobs. So um, what MANA does is they make special healthy meals and they deliver them for free to the doorsteps of people who are fighting things like cancer, um, COVID long haul syndrome, diabetes. These are people who can't get out easily right now. They, they can't safely go to restaurants and grocery stores. And people like Thomas Rhett and his fan group that got together last weekend, they are donating and prepping meals. We had meals last weekend that were delivered to a multi-county area right before his concert. 
those meals were delivered to the doorsteps of people. So we want to thank him for his donation and all of his fan community that got together and packaged those meals and helped deliver them. Thank you so much to Thomas Rhett fans for what you did last weekend. It was amazing. Before that, it was very exciting. I was in Alabama with the Rock the South Music Festival and we worked with Luke Combs and Ashley McBride on that festival as they donated a truckload full of food. I went out to nonprofits in the Coleman County community where Rock the South happened and I asked them in advance, what do you need? What can we best do as fans and music artists to help your community? They told me because of the pandemic, they really needed to help school children in uh, central Alabama. So that's what we did. Luke and Ashley donated a truckload of food. Greater Good Music partnered with a nonprofit called The Link of Coleman County. And we packed food, weekend food and snacks into 500 backpacks and handed them out as school was dismissing on the Friday afternoon of their concert. And um, I can't tell you how amazing it was and how timely it was too, because as these school systems in the South were starting back, a lot of them were seeing that they were having entire classrooms of kids having to be quarantined at home because of COVID. And we just happened to be able to use the donations from Luke and Ashley to provide special take home weekend food for those kids who were being sent home from school. Some of them may be at home by themselves. And so what has happened in uh, counties in the South, you know, a lot of parents lost their jobs last year. A lot of families were impacted by the economic downturn in the pandemic. And it's back to school time. The school systems in the South started before anywhere else in the country. And we knew that there were a lot of food insecure kids. Um, the county that we were working in two weeks ago, one out of every child in that county is food insecure. And what that means is they don't have enough food at home to carry them through. Their parents are working hard, but they're also working hard to overcome job losses of the last year. Even if they have gotten new jobs, that they lost a lot of funds last year. So we just want to help those families out by providing them for extra food. And also we were able to give away some school supplies. So that was just an amazing partnership with Luke and Ashley and the Rock the South Music Festival. And we're so appreciative of it. Before that, we were out on tour in Texas and Oklahoma with the Little River Band. Uh, they are the kings of Yacht Rock. So one of my favorite bands from the 80s. They still tour today and have an amazing sound. They came out before their concerts in Texas and Oklahoma, and they partnered with food banks in Abilene, Texas, and in Hinton, Oklahoma, and gave away truckloads of food to uh, single moms, elderly, people that have been um, impacted by the pandemic. So we've had some amazing things already happen this summer with Greater Good Music. I want to thank you for listening to our video today and joining us. Please check us out online at greatergoodmusic.org. Follow us on Facebook. You can also email me personally at info at greatergoodmusic.org. I would love to hear from you if you'd like to volunteer with us. We are signing up volunteers to help with the flood recovery in Tennessee right now. And also, if there's a concert tour coming to your town and you have an idea for a cause that you think that we could help, please let me know. Thank you so much.